Hey everybody, it's me here, Bernie P again, and today we're doing something a little different than from doing game reviews. We're going to be reviewing Roblox Studio. That's right, this is the famous Roblox game that everybody's been playing on YouTube and doing tons of videos on. And um, I'm not sure if a lot of you are aware, but um, there's an editor that is allowing millions of people to create content for Roblox. Um, now, I watch a lot of videos because my kid is into watching YouTube and a lot of video games, um, especially Roblox. He's very interested into it, and he's actually played it. Now, he plays it on my laptop, which is really not meant for video games, so it's a little bit chuggy. Um, but we're going to test it today as well as take a look at their editor. Now, I did a little research um, on Roblox, um, and I wanted to find a little bit more about the architecture, the engine itself. Um, the engine uh, is using another proprietary engine, which in most terms really wasn't that great of an engine um, because it only offers uh, just a rendering platform. It doesn't have any of the other features that most uh, game engines have which includes you know uh, uh, sound, particle effects, things like this. It's not an, uh, an all-in-one game engine uh, for use. You basically have to have uh, development skills to add the, the these extra nuanced features into the game engine. Now the game engine that they used or they had used um, because they've changed they're going to be changing um, to their own proprietary uh, game engine that they're developing currently um, it was called org. Now if I look up org um, Let's take a look. Uh, I got all the caps locks here. Uh, this is it right here. I'll just take a look at it on Wikipedia. And so, what does org stand for? Well, hmm. I know that it's here somewhere and I'm trying to find it really quickly. Now we can go directly to their website. Uh, platform license preview developers or teams. Open a new tab. Uh, anyway, it's an acronym meaning technical term. It could be here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. But Nevertheless, this is the the uh, the game engine itself. Now it has some, from my point of view, some good and bad things. But the reason why now um, Roblox, it, the company and the developers have decided to change it because, from my reading, is that they are. Uh, expanding and spanning more and they're looking for something that's a little bit more uh, in terms of speed stability um, and apparently the org en engine wasn't doing it for them and which is which is normal in most cases uh, why they didn't go with other game engines that exist today like unity or uh, unreal um, or the many other ones that are out there uh, I guess they just did not want to be co connected to another company that would probably have a monopoly over their content, uh, which again is still normal. Um, but from my understanding, they are switching. They are going to be changing. They're going to be updating. I don't know if it's already have done it, um, but I know they are in the process. Now here we are at the w their website which basically has all of their content that's being created. Um, now for the most part, from what I see, and what I've played as well, um, some of the games are not that great. A lot of it's more like parkour, uh, jumping uh, from, you know, from 
object to object. Uh, try not to fall into something where you would die. Uh, some of them um, are becoming more and more advanced um, where the, the gameplay and the visuals are, are a little bit more decent. But you still need uh, a decent computer to run this, unfortunately. Um, whereas, like, even comparing it to Minecraft, uh, the I, f I feel that the level of complexity compared to higher end games um, to run these engines um, are, are too demanding for the type of game that they are. Um, and, and, you know, these are low polygon, low resolution, uh, even when it comes to Minecraft, the the pixel art, the files are very, very small uh, compared to the high-res textures that are used in video games today. And the fact that you need a very powerful computer uh, or a decent computer with a decent video card in order to run these games uh, smoothly, which to me is kind of pathetic. But today we are going to check out the Roblox... Um, editor and as you can see here they kind of give you a bunch of templates to work with you can work with a base template some terrain village castle suburban racing so on and so forth and they kind of give you one you know that's already um, pre-determined you know what kind of dick gameplay you want so you got infinite runner you can have a shooter capture the flag so on and so forth um, so we're going to test out how hard it is for us to create our own game using the Roblox Studio. Now, I was playing with it a little bit here, and uh, I have to say that the the editor is pretty good, but there are still some glitches that you have to deal with. So, simply, you know, making sure you save your content, uh, exit the editor, and then going back in kind of fixes these things. And the only things that I'm talking about is. Uh, the collapsing of the UI, the, the GUI uh, system that they have here. I've, I've had situations where I would go in and, you know, if I clicked on view or something like that, all the stuff would be all crammed in the corner um, all the, on top of each other. And, you know, these are just small minor glitches. Um, but overall, in terms of building your level, it seems to be straightforward. Now, they kind of wanted this editor to be as simple as possible so that even you know a young child can open up this application and start creating their own game and then from there upload it to share it to the Roblox community uh, which has grown to millions of people online uh, young and old um, so we're here today and we're going to uh, we'll build something. We're not going to choose any of the pre-made ones here. We're only going to test these eventually. Um, but we're going to see if we how simple it is and play with some of the tools to see how they work. So let's just open up a flat terrain here. Now, in order to move around, I would suggest going to, you can go to file here and go to online help. And there, it will take you to a web page that will kind of give you uh, help on how to control the camera and things like that. And you have different ways. You can use your A, W, D, and S to go up, kind of on an angle, or it's basically back and forth. Because I'm on an angle, it looks like I'm going up. Um, and you can kind of fly around if you keep pressing the W and using your mouse you can kind of fly around uh, you can use your E to go up and your Q to go down and uh, A to go left and D to go right and if you hold down your uh, right mouse button you can swivel the camera and your left mouse button is to pretty much to select your object and move the object around. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, let's take a look at the tools here first. Uh, the tools are very simple. You have your move, scale, and select, rotate. Uh, your toolbox is basically um, all of the objects that are available in the Roblox world. Now, again, the UI needs a little bit of work um, only because 
I kind of got confused very easily uh, when I would click on something like this. And I was like, oh, okay, I can, you know, I can select an object and then drag it in my world. But I'm like, well, where's the list? Well, this is how you do it. You, you have, it's using a search and you have to remove the search from the search box. Click enter and it'll bring you back to you, the list. Um, and you could choose from model, meshes, decals, different things like that. Or you can actually create your own parts and modify them um, in the 3D environment. Um, you can also give it materials. It has its own color swatch for adding color. And also you have this terrain painter. Uh, you can use if you and the cool thing is it gives you uh, these hot boxes that kind of like uh, that well it's not a hot box it's basically an information box that pops up uh, with the information on what it does so if you want to generate a landscape or terrain um, you would use this one if you want to add you use this if you want to paint your materials so you can use multiple materials to paint you can use this option you can use it to grow so if you want a big, big mountains I uh, to erode it smooth it very simple and then you have the option of course to test and play or to stop now here in the model section um, we still have the same features as we do here for the rotate and whatnot uh, but in here uh, we have, of course, your parts, your materials, then we have your surfaces, um, but then you have these tools here that allow you to union, n negate, or separate your model pieces that you would build using the parts. Um, now, these are built-in features, uh, ball and socket, uh, hinge, prismic rope rod spring these are kind of like things functionalities that you would want to add in the game or in your level to an object um, you also have things like effects explosions fire point of light smoke sparkle spotlight surface light particle emitter and a particle emitter is pretty much like uh, in most 3d uh, game engines it allows you to add an emitter where it could be pretty much anything you want. It could be fire, it could be smoke, it could be sparks, um, anything like that. So it's more of, I think, um, uh, a more advanced uh, particle or, or an effect that you can mo modify. And then, of course, you have a spawn. So by default, and holding down, if you hit your F button, it'll bring you directly to the object. And F is usually uh, in th most. 3D software is I use Maya for my modeling if you're not aware um, and in, in Maya hitting the F key when you have an object selected automatically brings you to that object which is kind of cool because it allows me to be familiar with the same hotkeys that I normally use in other softwares then you have things like advanced objects um, you can have animations attachments attachments these are things in the game that add functionality uh, gameplay um, and you kind of have to familiarize yourself with these things as well uh, before just jumping into them uh, of course we have the model this allows you to import your own model that you would design in another 3d software and from my understanding is that um, it's very compatible with other th uh, free softwares out there like Blender, uh, SketchUp. You can import your models from 3D Studio Max or it was Maya as well. And I'm pretty sure that they would accept uh, the most universal uh, uh, 3D file, which is usually an object file. Um, but these are things that you have to experiment and, and research for yourself. Um, then you have other things like services, uh, insert services or service selections. Now these are things I guess that um, that involve. I, I'm not really 100% sure. If we cl click over it again, 
Um, services. Insert services from a service selection. Not too sure about that one. And of course, these ones here are for your scripts. So um, this allows you to write your own script in the game. Um, and local scripts, uh, module scripts. Um, so these are what you would need if you are a programmer and you want to write your own functionality in the game. I'm not a programmer. I'm here to test this software to see if it will allow me to develop my own game in Roblox. Um, and then once I build my own game, I'm going to upload it to the Roblox, Roblox community and see uh, where it would go from there if somebody will actually like it and uh, and play it and we're we're gonna see um, eventually with this uh, it's not a kind of a tutorial this video is an introduction to the uh, the application but you can use it as a tutorial if you want if you want me to do a tutorial for you uh, by all means let me know just write it in the comments um, I can sit down with you here in a video and um, design a game within a few, uh, maybe an hour or so, or speed up the process and see how long it takes. So, and then you got the terrain, which is pretty much like what you have here. Uh, the home has pretty much everything you need. Um, terrain, and you have your, uh, your, your different functionalities. You have your testing. Um, now, pair devices. Pair device to studio for testing. Okay, so I guess you would need to have the the application installed on your phone, and it will allow you to test it on your device, which is very cool because it is meant to also play on multiple platforms, including uh, mobile devices. Um, and here, what we have. Is start server and players. Okay, I guess this is for a uh, multiplayer online capability. Um, I guess you want to test that, and then you can have how many players you want on it. Um, you can select the uh, screen type or mobile device um, to see how it will function on on that device so for testing purposes um, you can set up the resolution um, scale to pixel uh, physical size uh, you can move your audio and then you have your physics uh, within the game um, and the view I am not too sure what all these functionalities view script performance information I guess these are like more internal uh, functionality scripts to make sure that things are running well um, and you have a couple of things here that's related to showing your grid uh, flat terrain page okay I guess you can choose which w uh, window you want um, pretty much is the same thing as switching back and forth here uh, stats render physics uh, you have all these other things that I'm not aware of, but I'll take a look into. And of course, plugins, which are uh, add-ons to the game that you, as a developer, would program yourself. Okay, so let's get into this right away. So, right here we have uh, our beginning level. Now, I could go back to the start page and create something that is a little bit more advanced um, but we, we, we want to learn how to play how to create our own game so let's start by and let's see um, I'm gonna go to view we're gonna make sure that the axis is displayed now normally there's an axis on this uh, but it's not showing but we can still just grab this okay now it's showing us um, so we're just gonna kind of pull this over out of the way and don't forget that you can use your keys on your keyboard to kind of fly around um, in your virtual world okay so 
the platform they kind of give you in this level is decently big enough to start something nice um, but we're gonna I want to add some terrain to this so and we're gonna basically block off all these edges with a wall uh, maybe some colliders so that um, no one can really go past it and what a collider is is basically it's an invisible object that just says no you cannot pass these border lines um, which could be a, sm a s pretty much any object you want but you normally use uh, a square or rectangle or reshape a square to um, and modify it so that um, you can place it anywhere you want um, so let's go to terrain and let's play with the different types of terrain options here we have a generate um, generate landscapes of terrain so let's see what this does we have a medium of 256 by 256 um, and we have different variations so and then we have we have caves if we want in it which generates a seed I guess we can it'll automatically generate a, a cave in there for us uh, biome size uh, which is this uh, the size of the environment uh, we could have ooh, this is kind of nice they have a lot of cool options in here we have water marshes uh, we have canyons dunes lava scapes uh, we'll, we'll add well, you know what we'll, we'll add all this in just to see what it does all right so we're going to generate it and see what it's going to do for us now this could cause a bit of lag in the game if your computer is not strong enough now I've even seen some people play uh, this game where the environment is absolutely amazing like somebody really took time into developing it and ooh, this is crazy it's kind of overriding our current uh, <laughs> landscape that our, our land that we have but like I was mentioning that sometimes these can actually cause some great lag uh, in the game for some reason I don't know why um, but you know we're gonna test this we're gonna see so we have a bit of everything in here we have snow um, let me see Ah, this is actually nice and we got some lava going on over here some lava areas we have a little bit of water and this is kind of good for if you want to get into more adventuring style games uh, do we have a cave here I believe that's a cave right over here okay I need to go down we'll go this way oh look at that and it goes deeper we have all kinds of stuff underneath here okay now if we want to test this out we just can close up this and uh, go to test and just hit the play button we'll, we'll go here where's the play button model where are you play test play okay we'll just test it Ooh. All right. So I am I'm in it. I am actually in it. So All right. So I don't know can I, I can use this. So we can test there's caves and stuff in here but we have no lights to see anything. But this is actually pretty cool. And this actually runs a lot better on this PC, of course, than my laptop. Okay. 
I'm kind of stuck in here now. I don't think there's anything going to be popping out in here because I haven't generated anything in here yet. So... I'll test some of the environments. So, it actually runs very well, as you can see. Uh, the texturing is not bad. And it's a little bit better from what I normally see um, in other games where they use very simple objects. This is kind of more, to me, more advanced. The rendering, the LOD rendering seems to work okay. So this is a pretty big environment. So we're just going to get out of this. We're going to stop it. So... Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. And how big is this environment? Okay, so I think it's using the medium. Excuse me, I've, I am not that good today. <laughs> okay, let's go to generate. And let me see. It's using 256 by 256. So it's not bad for a size. Like, you can still do a lot in this. Uh, environment all right so now what if we wanted to modify this what do we do well let's try this let's see we're gonna click the add and we can add texture oh, look at that and we can lower the strength I believe so that we don't get these like big balls Ooh. Uh, or lower the size uh, let's move this around. So we kind of get this like weird effect. Okay, we can build it up a little bit. So that's kind of a cool feature. I like that. Um, and then we can kind of increase this. Now, if we want to change the texture, of course, we're using the grass here. Uh, we can go back to stone and then kind of like smooth these things out and modify our terrain. Um, we can even use a square, look at this, we can even use, like, more jagged for, for rocks and cliffs and stuff. And, um, so this is a very simple tool, we can even add some lava in here, make it look like it's burning up everywhere. Um, I don't know, oh, that's kind of cool. We can add, we can even probably, like, create some weird sculpting objects in here to uh, give our environment some really cool effects. Um, now, I don't know if this is animated. Let's just double, double check to see if this is animated. Uh, we're going to add a, a spawn area. Uh, train test view. Where are the spawns model? Spawn. Okay. And we're just going to move that spawn over here. Okay, so let's now test this. Uh -huh. uh, doesn't seem to want to allow us to... Okay, I guess we have to wait. Uh-huh. Can we go up this way? Oh, there we go. Uh, um, so... No, there's really no animation. Can we get burnt on this stuff? No. Alright. So, that's kind of cool. It seems like our, our spawn, our first spawn kind of starts here somewhere. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's related to the previous spawn I laid down. I'm not sure. So, we have that. Uh, we have to check out the terrain. Uh, what else do we have? We can paint, which is just simply painting. Uh, we can grow. What's this? 
Can we change this to something? I'm going to choose a little bit more of a bigger size. So we're growing it. As you can see, it's increasing in size with the texture that we've chosen, which is kind of cool. I'm telling you, you, if you know how to make use this editor, you can make some really cool stuff from what I can see here. It's just, I think the, the developers have a lack of designing capability, uh, more of a programming from some of the stuff that I've seen. But I think these games that are going to be available uh, for this game are going to become more and more, more advanced, more detailed. Uh, we have Erode, which is the opposite. You can kind of like sync that in and remove it. Um, you have different options here and then we have smoothing so if you have these hard shaped uh, edges you can smooth that out a little bit more but of course the more smoothing you do the more uh, polygons you're going to have now if we check view option we might have uh, the ability to see the mesh um, which um, I haven't checked to see if we can do that. Um, surface, smooth, stud, event, motor, hinge, uh, materials, parts, uh, show detail. Okay. Effects, spawn. Um, hmm. That's a very good, very good question, Bernie. That should be an option in here somewhere where you're allowed to see the mesh, the level of detail of mesh. But anyway, so now we have our world built. How easy it is it for us to start slapping some things into this game? Well, first of all, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go through the environment. I just want to see. Okay, first of all, I'm going to get rid of this. Go back to this. Ah, there is our problem. That was why. Now, apparently we can go all down through this. Just like caves everywhere here, but we have to really light these up. So, this can be like a dungeon uh, type style game. But we're going to build our little, little, little village over here, I think. Um, so that means we're going to remove the, this... We'll just remove it and just add a new one over here. Uh, new spawn area, perfecto. And we'll just kind of put it off to the side. So this is going to be our, our little area where we're going to build. So now let's go to our model section here. And we can build all kinds of things. We have a tree house. Uh, I don't know what this purple thing is, purple, purple, um, but we want to build our own house. So do we want to start from scratch, weapons, but let's go to buildings, see what we have in terms of buildings. Uh, there's not a lot of buildings, but we're going to also, I'm also going to test and do a video on how to build your own objects. What are the requirements for building your own objects for this game and how to import it? So for those of you who have a little bit of 3D skills or you want to use you can even use the editor here to build your own objects actually um, but we're going to do a couple of things uh, a couple of tutorials on this and see where it can get us so what is this one we have a building here I don't know what kind of building that is um, Can we go inside of it? Is there stuff inside of it? No, it's just a a lame block. <laughs> That's all it is with a texture. Um, okay, so you know what? We'll just delete that. So let's start from scratch. Let's go back down here. Um, okay, and, uh, and our starting position, our spawning position that wasn't properly laid out. Okay, so let's let's learn how to use the parts 
let's use a block. So we have a block here. And we want to know, we want to be able to scale it. Let's go in here a little bit more. Okay. So, seems to be very simple. That's the thickest that we can go. And according and it's set correctly to its axis. So let's first build a base. Okay, we want a floor. And because our terrain is a little offset, we want to make sure that our floor is, you know, it's decently big. Okay, uh, a nice, a nice square house. We can also add more to it later. Um, no, nope, we're going to go down. I'm going to grab this. And that's one thing I find about this, though, is that because there are collisions, it won't really allow you to do some things. Um, like, I cannot go through this floor at all. That's the, that's, the, that's the other part that I don't like about this. It doesn't allow you to uh, mod to kind of insert. So if I want to, I would have to modify this terrain to um, smooth it out. Manipulate region of smooth terrain. So I would have to smooth this out to make it flat, I guess. Or I would have to make it grow slightly. There we go. I uh, 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 can I go undo? Okay, undo. I'm going to make it grow around here so that it seems like this is the only way that I can do it, huh? To make the terrain come up to the, the object. So we'll we'll do it this way. So we need a little bit more strength and a little bit more size. There we go. Why don't you kind of like this? I like this. It's working for me. So I don't know how long I can make this video for, but I figured that I would touch base a bit on this video. Uh, or, I mean, on this editor. For those of you who like the game and wish to uh, start developing your own your own Roblox level, you would need to install the editor, of course. Okay, so we're kind of getting there. I uh, don't want it too big, and I'll lower the strength down a little bit more because I want to kind of flatten it out here. I want to make it even. Okay, because I can always come in afterwards and smooth this out. There we go, because I want to be able to walk up to my house without any problems. Okay. I think we can live with this for now, can we? Okay, let's just kind of come up around here a little bit more. All right. And where is my spawning point? My spawning point's there. Okay, so this is the base for my house. So now all I have to do is just simply go back and get another part and manipulate this. And it should be lined up correctly. So we're going to scale this. I have to go into it, so by pressing F key, it's going to be bring me right into it. Now, if you kind of ever played with SketchUp, it's kind of as simple as that. So I'm going to say duplicate it, which is by just using holding down your control key and your and then hitting the D 
will allow you to duplicate this and then we we'll just slap it over and if I select them both I can now duplicate both of these bring this down and just bring it over here keep on using my F key to kind of switch around so it seems to be very simple like you can really build some very nice work some uh, get some models in this um, I will eventually learn or play around with the the union and uh, negate tools here so we can create some complex uh, models um, so we'll do that bring it all the way over and we're just going to bring this in bring this up Okay. Perfect. Look at that. How how easy is this? Huh? How easy is this? This is very easy. Not complicated at all. There we go. And then we can simply go in afterwards and for example uh and get some objects for our house for example um we could add living quarters uh a couch to our our uh, our house no we don't want that we wanted to do it to this no we don't want that Okay, I guess I have to grab. No, we don't want that. Uh, okay, we want to do it like this. All right. Have to get used to the tools. So we can make this like our living room area. Uh, so let me make sure, okay, that it's on the floor. Okay, so because we have uh, a certain ratio to play with here uh, we'd probably have to bring us up a little bit uh, see that's what happens so we have to select all these objects by holding down your shift key you can select multiple objects we're just gonna bring this up a little bit now we're gonna select this and scale it and bring it up can we scale it up can we can we can we uh, uh, uh. Okay, there it is. It snapped. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. But it's still easy compared to some some other games, game engines. Okay, so now we just take all these, holding down our shift key. And just bring it back down. Plop. And you can come back down. Plop. Give it a texture. Let's give it some textures here. Just do a little bit more before we finish off. And so, um, review. Do we have it here? Test. Terrain. Model. Um, color. Okay, materials. That's what we're looking for. Let's look for, um, what can we add? Granite, cobblestone, pebble, marble, fabric, neon. Hmm. Guess wood. We want to add a material to this object. Uh, let me see. Zoom in, insert part, insert object. We can add a spotlight. We can add other things in here, but that's not what I want to do. I want to change the surface material of this. Ah, surface material. Okay. Surface, glue, smooth, stud, inlet, reverse, add, weld, hinge, motor. Hmm. No. Okay. Looks. I will have to figure out how to add materials. 
Okay, it seems to have been seems to add it. But it doesn't look like it's color. It's a material. Do I okay. Ah, so not only can you change the color of the material or uh, add the material, you can change the color, which is pretty decent, I think. Yeah. So that's how you would do it. Just like both of them, change them both at the same time. Um, let's just get rid of this material and add a wood plank. Okay, and the surface, we're going to... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, I want it more brown. Okay, I don't know why we still have the raw block kind of imprint on here. I guess it's kind of their their trademark embedded into the object, uh, which is fine for now. We'll, we'll live with this. Then we're going to go and save the file. We're going to go to uh, where I normally save everything. Uh, personal objects. Do I have it in here? Rob blocks. Uh, uh, new game test. Spell it correctly. New game test one. Save it. And let's give it a little quick run, shall we? Oh, what the hell happened there? It seems like my house just kind of like fell from the sky. Uh, I don't think it liked the idea of the collision part. No, it did not like the, uh, the, the collision. So that's how you have to figure out these things. It has to be a flat surface or the collision is going to spit it out. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. My couch, on the other hand, is perfectly fine. Uh, it's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> this is hilarious. I can't believe that my my house spat out of the ground. Well, at least we know how to make this game work, or this editor work, to build games for Roblox in the future. Um, I hope this video introduction slash tutorial was helpful. There's going to be many more to come because they're kind of interested in seeing if I can build an actual game using this editor, put it up on the Roblox community, and see if somebody's actually going to play it and like it. Maybe I'll get my, my kids to test it out at the same time. So, uh, if you have any comments, by all means, leave some comments down below. Um, normally, if you are new to my channel, we, I have always asked that if you are interested and you want to see more content, by all means, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you like what you see, sharing it and liking it also helps my channel as well, like many others of you out there. Um, and uh, I thank you for coming back and checking out uh, my latest video uh, don't forget to always come back because there are other game reviews uh, that are going to be taking place uh, many 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 during the week we'll be I'll be uh, re revising uh, some of the games to show you my advancements in them and also showing you new ones uh, latest news information on games that I come across to kind of give you up to dates on what's going on in the gaming community um, and uh, that's pretty much it so th this is Bernie P signing out thank you for watching my video and don't forget to come back soon alright I'll be watching for you ciao bell